How you doing? Welcome back to the show. Today we're going to incorporate a couple of ingredients that we find at home. We got a little Parmigiano Reggiano grated cheese. We got some penne pasta. We'll get some flour. Now the flour I use is called Wonder Flour. It's not your regular down home flour uh, that you use for baking. This is more refined. It, it, it seals to uh, chicken cutlets and other items and also makes a great uh, chicken bra, um, chicken mixed with chicken stock make a great gravy. Uh, we got your Spanish onions or what you call white onions. We got your Italian parsley. We have a whole lemon here. We have unsalted butter, which is good for people looking out for their health. We have some breadcrumbs, unseasoned. We, I like to use, when I use my eggs, I like to season my eggs versus seasoning the breadcrumbs. We got chicken breasts, which will probably give you about uh, four slices of chicken per each breast. Uh, I mean, uh, down here in North Carolina, hard to find chicken already cleaned and prepped for a cutlet, which we're going to be using today. Uh, we have our button, uh, onion, uh, button mushrooms. They are, I mean, we use these for cooking, also for stuffing. Excellent. Um, stuff that we don't, you won't find at home in your local pantry. Uh, today we're going to be making uh, a panini. So we could go stop at your local grocery or your local pizzeria, pick up one pizza dough. It's very easy. We're going to cut it up, make a nice chicken panini. Uh, you have your cooking wines, masala. We got sherry. Now, people looking at this going to vodka. Yeah, we're going to make some penny ala vodka today, uh, incorporate some chicken into that. We have some uh, lemon juice. Uh, don't worry, we, I know we already said we had lemon, but we're going to use lemon juice, get a little more kick out of it. We got some 40% heavy cream which is great. We're going to use that for the olive vodka. We got some fresh mozzarella and uh, some roasted peppers. And last but not least, prosciutto. Uh, some people like to use pancetta. I prefer prosciutto. I think it has a little more flavor to it. I know a lot of people don't like to carry it at home. The shelf life is not that long. Uh, but if you seal it up, you get a long lasting uh, product right here. All right, now we're going to come back and we're going to start cutting up, getting ready, prepare our meals. So we'll see you in a minute. What we have here is uh, about a pound and a four ounces of pizza dough. Now at home, most of you have a cookie sheet. Over here, we have the pleasure to have a a pan-coated cookie sheet. Uh, you can find this at your local restaurant suppliers, uh, go online. Uh, excellent for cooking, you know, uh, cookies, any baking. Um, you don't have to spray this at all. You, you can leave it as is. When you go to wash it, just a little soap and water. That's it. You know, don't use no Brillo on this, no stainless steel pads. This is perfect for what, what we're going to be doing today. Uh, but if you don't have that, take this. Put a little pan coating on it, and you're going to cut your dough into threes. That's going to be one. We're going to take it, lay it in the tray like that. Get the other two. We're going to put a little pressure down on it, try to get any air that's inside of it out. Now I got a little. 10% uh, olive oil over here. I'm just going to coat the top. We're going to stick it in a warm place. If you want to cover it with a saran wrap, you can do that. But just put it in a warm place and let it sit for about 20, 30 minutes. Preheat your oven to about 350, 400 degrees. And we're going to stick that in the oven about 10, 15 minutes. Five minutes, five, 10 minutes later, it's going to be ready. You can see a golden brown finish on it. All right, 